Hey guys, I'm here in my little hometown. You know, kind of urban. Scan around, just kind of scanning. You know, little urban, urban environment. Um, most of us, if anything does happen, we're going to be in an urban, urban environment. And um, you need a, like a little pouch to keep some tools in for you. Now, this is a pouch. It's not a backpack. I know I'm going to get comments of, oh, you're going to need to carry a boat cutter or a crowbar or a sledgehammer. This is not designed for this. This is just having a little tool, little tool pouch basically on your side or you can keep in your pack. And what I got in it is just basic. A little flashlight. You want to make sure it works. I've got a little tool set. It's got hex keys on it. It's got, you know, different, sort of like a Leatherman, but a little bit more. It's got a little knife on it. You know, just different, different things. But this thing, quite the reason I like it, on this side right here, it's a little screwdriver. You just put it in, you got a screwdriver. Because you never know in a thing. This is just a little bitty scope, you know, spotting scope. Because, again, you don't know. You could be a couple of blocks away and you want to scan the area to see if there's anybody around. You know, this is a Walmart brand cheap Leatherman tool, you know, multi-tool, sorry, multi-tool, not a leather. Then, this is another, just little tool, it's got little screwdrivers and stuff in there, you take it out, you put it in here, and you got a little screwdriver. But, one of your most important tools you're going to have, oh, hold on. here's another one little star. It's got all kinds of little hex keys, you know, hex on it, standard Phillips. But the most important thing you should get in an urban environment, here comes a train. We got a train track right, right down here. small towns but you're gonna to have to have some way to find water and the new spigots they don't have a round handle on it you'll have to have a water spigot tool these are got four different sizes you know they're almost on every building every gas station they've got a water spigot where you can use this, turn it on, fill up your water, and get out. That's a must. The, the, they're, not, they're not expensive. They're like between six, ten bucks. But having one of these will really help in a SHTF situation if you're in an urban environment. Another thing. Get a pad. Pad of paper, pencil, pen. You can get a right in the rain. I got a cheap one from Dollar Tree. Keep it in a plastic. This way, if you're coming into an area, you can write down where water source is. You can write down where the train tracks are. You can draw a little map of, say, a block away is a group of people hanging out and you want to avoid them. You can always put notes in here and when you get back you can go over with your family or with your group you're with and you know the area. Say you have to make an escape route. 
get something like that, walk through your town right now and say, okay, we can't go by car, we have to go by foot or bike, which way would be the best way to go? I mean, it's just a simple, simple little kit. You might want to add more. You know, if you see something here that I should have in here, reasonable, that will fit into a pouch, write it in the comments. That way you're sharing your ideals with everybody and we're all learning. Again, a crowbar, a sledgehammer, a boat cutters are not going to fit in here. That's going to have to fit in your backpack and you don't want to be walking around with a crowbar in your hand anyway. But tell me what you think. It's just a simple little video with simple ideals. Tell me what you guys think and I'll see you on the next one.